Rory Smith writes, Hey Collider crew with Oscar buzz starting up for some films. I had a couple of Oscar related questions. Tom Hardy and Joseph Gordon-Levitt are two of my favorite actors, but neither actor has any Oscar nominations. Do you think either of them will get nominated this year with Hardy in Legend and The Revenant and JGL in The Walk and Snowden? Also, who do you think are the best actors and actresses who haven't been nominated? Thanks for giving movie fans great episodes every day. Schnepp, uh, who are some actors that haven't been nominated you think deserved in the past to? Boy, you know, I'd say, uh, well, actually, Fassbender, was he nominated for 12 Years a Slave? I don't know. Because he, he was incredible in that, and he's just a really incredible actor. Mm. So I'd be really shocked and surprised. Like, I think Jobs is going to bring him a nomination just from watching the trailers. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Leo and Tom Hardy in this film, like, everything we're seeing from this film is just, like, so powerful, and it's all brought to by br their faces and their acting. So, I mean, I would be shocked if one of them didn't get nominated mm. for one of those roles. Mark? Yeah, I've said as far back as 1993 that Leonardo DiCaprio will win for The Revenant. He's he's <laughs> He just looks so good in this movie that I can't imagine him not getting nominated. And Tom Hardy, I'm hearing that the movie legend is pretty good, but he's phenomenal in it, so that could also spell a nomination for him. Uh, as far as all time goes, I actually go with two guys who were arguably snubbed last year, and that's David Oyelowo and Jake Gyllenhaal. Is I think that their their time is going to come sooner rather than later as far as getting nominated. And it'd be nice to see somebody recognize Meryl Streep once in a while. Oh, yeah. because she, no. she, she gets yeah. passed over quite a bit. It's weird. Yeah, this is a harder question than winning the Oscar because Oscar nominations, it's... It, it, it's weird for me to say they're harder to remember because there's you know every year the category has five five for supporting five for for lead so sometimes you forget who gets not like even right now i'm like okay sam rockwell did he get nominated for moon at all no he did not he, and he was in he's a tour de force he's yeah. one dude he, like he, and a bunch me, of him like he's a, he's an actor that feels like he's deserves amazing. a nomination there's yeah. a, um when you're speaking of a movie that maybe the the was good black mass but the performances were even better with Johnny Depp and Joel Edgerton. I think Joel Edgerton right. deserves an a Oscar nomination for his portrayal because I think he almost steals that show. Now, you guys saw The Martian. Has Matt Damon ever gotten nominated for an Oscar? I know he won for screenplay for Good Will Hunting, but has he been nominated? I don't know that he's ever been nominated for acting. The uh, only I mean, one I could think of is maybe talented Mr. Ripley, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I think sure. there, was a, there was an Oscar push for him when he did the informant because he kind of it was right. a different role yeah. for him and he changed the shape of his body to play that role, but he didn't get nominated for that. So I think The Martian could be. It, Having I, seen it, I think yeah. he definitely has earned the right to be in the conversation. Is it informant? I thought that was uh, Russell Crowe. Uh, that was that was Matt Damon. That was the insider. Yeah. Insider, insider. Yeah. Like two insider. eyes. But yeah. um, <laughs> you, you saw the Martian, though. I mean, is Matt Damon just he just plays like at such an even keel? Is he easy to get passed over because he's not doing extreme roles or? Uh, kind of. But then he kind of has a scene at the end that kind of I'm, it's not on par with, but reminded me of remember in Captain Phillips with Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. Like he's kind of pretty even killed throughout the whole movie, and then towards the end when the shit goes down, and the aftermath of that, like you're just blown away by his acting. I'm not saying Matt Damon has a scene exactly like that, but he has a scene at the end that I feel like is kind of you know towards that, mm. where it's like, oh man, like that guy was holding it in, and he just kind of lets it all out. Yeah, I, I like when performances do that. You know, when somebody gets through some sort of event, or like in Captain Phillips when Tom Hanks has this happened to him it's like mariano rivera coming in in the ninth and it's like this is just closing and then he d ended up not getting nominated no. so you know i think that yeah matt damon's performance throughout the martian uh is uh is something that that should rank up there this year